So with the coming of the new year comes the time for me to set myself five big goals which I want to achieve. Some of which are insanely ambitious. You'll be looking at this sheet going, are you out of your mind? God, I don't think you can handle what's on this sheet. And some of the goals will just make you think, yeah, fair enough. Either way, we're going to be working through each one and I'm going to be explaining them, the method in the madness. And for those of you who have been watching my channel for quite a long time, you'll know that actually I originally had six big goals to achieve, so have I actually achieved one? <gasps> who knows? Well, you will know by the end of the video. So big goal number one, improve my fitness brackets Rocky style montage. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah. So I have a regular exercise routine, some of that which I document on here. Some of you have seen me in action, you know I'm fast. I'm popping out jabs. Oh, I'm so mean, I'm fast, I'm a blur, you see. Speedy McGee, oh, bah, bah. And that was a terrible demonstration of my skill. Ha. I have my list of many things and I've written down what I'm hoping to get out of my exercise. So basically, I want to be mostly pain free. That means that I find an exercise routine that basically I can do from now on that isn't going to cause any long term, you know, like oh, joint pain or arg, muscle pain or arg, any sort of pain. I just want the good burn, man. Oh, feel the burn in the good way, not the oh, God, I've burnt something. <laughs> can we stop? And there's sort of a basic exercise routine that I can sort of do anywhere in the world. So if I was for some reason on holiday for a month or just had to travel, that I could do it like in a hotel room with limited space. That is very important for me because I hate the idea that if I had to be somewhere, I wouldn't be able to exercise. And to me, it's something I've committed to and I've got to just keep doing it. I'm, I'm addicted to exercise. And ultimately the goal is to help me maintain a healthy weight. And obviously I'm not really in it for muscle building really, I'm just in it for general fitness. And obviously some of that is a byproduct, you know how you end up looking. But I suppose one day I'd, feel, I'd like to feel fully comfortable like taking off my shirt on camera. People are thinking probably, oh God, don't achieve that. We don't want to see that. Ah, there's nothing really wrong with me as such, but you know, it's the kind of thing like, you just want to feel like, you know. One of my big heroes is Rocky Balboa, always inspired me and I would love to have my own training montage very similar to his, well not similar but in my own way, and that would really be like, that's how I want to end my exercise journey. Obviously I'm going to carry on exercising, but me documenting it, I want it to end with the montage and sort of the da da da. Yeah, if you've never seen a Rocky montage, go watch one or just keep watching this channel and you'll see mine eventually. But I've always hoped to have my own and I can't wait for that day when I've just sort of, I've hit the peak of all my exercises and then I can go and do that. That would just be amazing. And the last bit of that, of course, is that I want to inspire many, many people through my physical activity. Just a quick interjection. Yes, that was necessary. I just want to remind everybody that the purpose of this channel is actually documenting my journey to making the list of goals, which I somehow don't have now, a reality. That is what this channel is about. It's documenting my process of getting there and achieving them. It's nice to have purpose, isn't it? Had to happen one day. <laughs> Right, so numero due, which is a bit of Spanish and Italian for number two, host my own TV show, brackets, late night comedy travel. So what does that mean? It means you're insane. That is one that I would say is very ambitious and it probably is my North Star, as they call it, the pinnacle. Right, so let's reference my notebook because I have no memory capacity whatsoever. Huh? Now the reason why I think I'm going to be able to have my own TV show and host it, well I guess what else would you do if it was yours, is because the leverage I'm going to generate on YouTube through my channel. So my theory is that when this channel grows and grows and grows, so we're talking about 100k plus and the momentum keeps building and building and there's an audience, a bigger audience, I love you guys, but obviously I need to multiply you by many, many people. That's going to be a lot of people to value, isn't it? I'll love every single one of them. But yes, when I get to that point, that is when all the bias and no, because I'm at the moment I'm a no-name person. So when I eventually build that and prove myself that the market, that's what Gary Vee would say, the market, once the market says that there's an interest in me, my content, etc, etc, then, then that is when you will have leverage to approach the television people. And I haven't just come up with that off the top of my head. I've done my homework, I've done my research. Do you remember, I've been involved with the TV world. I've been involved with high level production, celebrity big brother, excuse me, on set all the time, the star. <laughs> yes, don't mention that it wasn't televised. We'll, we'll glaze over that, but it's the same industry. Basically, the theory is now, look, I've got it on the list because obviously I am clueless. When I get the right amount of success on YouTube, then I'll try and get a TV agent, which is basically somebody who tries to get your jobs in the real world and in entertainment. So in theory, I should be a candidate to apply for a TV agent because of everything I'd have built. Then what happens is that a TV agent can approach production companies and then production companies, if they like your ID, you basically need a TV agent and a production company on board 
those two together then will go to the network and then your show might get greenlit. So what I'm hoping is that one of my independent series basically will be pitched and because of the success on YouTube that the numbers are there, they will take it up and then it will be televised, more budget, more me and then there you go, that is how I think it will happen. Or I'll get a TV agent and I'll just get jobs in the industry and then I'll build my way up like that. So that's the thing, but ultimately the holy grail is to have my own sort of show. Now what sort of show are you wanting, egotistical, ambitious person? Well I'll go into more depth about that. Well the, my ideal sort of show, because obviously I don't know it in my head, it's in my book, ultimate, ultimate thing would be to be like an American late night host talk talk host talk show oh god i've got a long way to go i'd like to do it a bit differently obviously have celebrities on but occasionally have the sort of the no name guests and that'll be exciting and that's partially why i am interviewing people getting my skills up you know showing off my talent that's a late night theme so that's the holy grail then there's the idea of me having sort of my own tv show like a comedy challenge like reality sort of like documenting me going after big ambitious things sort of a bit like this youtube channel and then a very interesting interesting sort of show I'd like to produce would be to be a travel show where I sort of go around rather than showing off the place because that's so boring I think if you look at travel vloggers I like travel vloggers let's put it out there but when they go there and they do this incredible video of the place the star is the place not them and they're just showcasing it and nobody's really interested in that like when I made a Burano Island video people aren't really interested in Burano and if they're just viewing content like that it's for the place not the person I don't want to be about the place I'm about the person I want to be the star and that's why it'll be a travel show with a twist actually hang on i can do that better it'll be a travel show with a twist <laughs> it'll be a travel show with a twist which basically means that it'll be me going around making funny observations and basically being an idiot and not useful for travelers in the slightest but that's where the main market comes in because comedy is a bigger market than travel and I enjoy it. And obviously the whole late night thing, if I got onto that on America, that could incorporate all elements of comedy challenges, travel, bah, bah, bish, bash, bosh. There you go, that's my holy grail. That's the insane one. Right, numero treo, trio, whatever o. Find love. And that's a big one. Big, big, big one. Now, as some of you may have noticed on that piece of paper, it used to say, find love brackets Italian, question mark, and it doesn't anymore. And I will go into more detail in another video why that stipulation isn't there anymore, because I have actually evolved in my thinking. Obviously, I love Italians, obviously, but, you know, the whole theory behind, oh, I need to go away and get a vineyard, and oh, God, that's, that theory has slightly changed. What I need to do is find love, and I'm very close to that now. Close, so close. Oh, it's in my phone, you see. All oh, the love is brewing, you know. And for those of you who've been following this channel, you know I'm in conversations with a girl who changed my life, quote unquote. And it's getting very close to us meeting up. But to me, this that's where I'm going to find love. Simple as that. And it's going to be a beautiful thing to document. Number four, here we go. Reach 100,000 user subscribers. Very hard to read like this. Brackets 100k. Square brackets, sustainability. Don't you like it when you get to use a square bracket? Oh, writing, writing banter. Oh. Right, so basically, there you go. I want to hit 100k on YouTube. Obviously, I want to grow the channel to the moon for so many, many millions. But in the meantime, the, the goal I have is 100k because it's that first 100,000 play button, the silver award from YouTube you get. I see myself unboxing it, looking at it, it's basically got a mirror going, that's horrendous, ah! That's what I see, looking at that thing, and no, just seeing myself and thinking, I did this, I'm proud of myself, and my dreams are coming true, and it's all down to people like you. So that is the goal, and the goals normally shouldn't be a number, but the number isn't just about that, it's about the representation of me actually getting a physical award, and actually the amount of people involved with my channel at that point, because I'm all about reach and impact, and the more people that subscribe and watch, the more impact I can have, and the more good I can do. So it isn't just all selfish, and the likelihood is that if you can start growing to those figures, you're generating sustainability, which means money, and it isn't about money for me, but sustainability is important so therefore to be sustainable you need money and to have an impact you need to keep doing it and to keep doing it you eventually need some money so to be able to be paid to do it and be sustainable 
the dream. Paid for passion. Who doesn't want to be paid for passion? Right, and the last one, which is a bit of a weird one, but I've left it on there because I still think it's important. It's number five, improve my comedy and reach my potential. You're thinking, oh God, you couldn't get any funnier. <laughs> Thank you. I basically want to get to the point where I feel completely happy with my camera presence, my wit and my comedy and everything like that. Because obviously there's a long way to go for me and I have very high standards for myself, as you can probably tell. But the likelihood is that when I get to the point of achieving the other goals, I will feel content with that one. So that sort of is one that's interlinked to everything. Right, and basically, as I said at the start, there used to be a number six. This obviously is a new piece of paper, otherwise I've got some very good tip -ex. But there used to be a number six, which was to write a book of great significance and get it published. So have I achieved that? Have I done it? No, I haven't. Do I look insane? I've really fallen out of love with book writing and that is gonna be a whole separate video. I will go into much depth on that. I'll be grammatically correct. Oh, you can see that I've had a traumatic time. I've tried to write this book five, insert non-child friendly world here, times. I can't even think now. It's dreadful. Uh, it's, probably, it's probably why I can't write. I'm just like, what do I say now? Oh, what do I say? So that's not gone especially well. But anyway, they are my five goals. Whether I'll get any of those achieved in 2020, actually, I'll give you a quick prediction. I would assume, I think there's a chance of me to achieve my exercise goal this year, possibly. There is a chance of that. Not gonna get my own TV show this year, very much down. I find love, yes, that's gonna happen this year with, I nearly said a name, which I can't say yet. Rich 100K on YouTube, I doubt it's possible, but I doubt, and improve my comedy, reach my potential. Oh, <laughs> that guy's got no chance. So basically we're talking about, I'd say the most likely one is love, and then the next one is fitness. Well, it's going to be a very physical year then, with loving and exercising. Wow. By the way, I hope you appreciate that. I have done what I said I have cut. Well, I didn't do it, but somebody has cut the front bit of my hair, so it presumably is looking better. Hopefully you're thinking that, not thinking, why did you cut that off? You're insane. Anyway, basically, there you go. That's my goals. That's who I am. That's what I'm doing. Get interested. Get liking it. And then I will see you at the top, my friends, and I will share the goodness with you. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe 99,500 times. Yeah, thank you.